What is up, y'all? This is your host, as always, the Headphones Neil, bringing you a very special announcement slash uh, release. Um, as you can see, as I'm playing around on my device here, that it is definitely not a Moto X. Um, I actually recently switched devices from my plan that I have between my Moto X and my the HTC One that I have, um, HD, the HTC One M7, as you can see on the screen, um, because CyanogenMod announced that their CM or CyanogenMod 12 builds would roll out for select devices, uh, with more coming soon. And my HTC One M7 one was one of those, so I swapped the devices and decided to check it out so I could get a, a jump on playing around with it, seeing what um, they're offering and some of the new features of Android. So uh, with that, I decided to use one of the new features in that uh, screencasting is now available for um, any Android device running Android 5 without the need for root. So... Um, as I mentioned, for some preliminary information, I am running, um, or I am using an HTC One. I'm on the Cyanogen Mod Nightly from January 11th. It's for the HTC One M7. Um, their current build is based on Android 5.0.2. Um, that's about it all here. You'll see the logo in the bottom right hand corner. I'm using the Mirror app by Koosh to do the screencast. Um, the app is available in Google Play, so if you guys want to check it out on your Android 5 device or your rooted, um, I believe the base um, requirement is Android 4.4.4. Um, earlier versions might be supported, but um, it will only work on rooted devices prior to Android 5. Um, in case you're wondering what my home screen is, it is um, Action Launcher, so um, you can see the um, app drawer sliding in from the uh, left, the menu button for system settings, manage apps and settings. So settings takes me into action launcher, but uh, that is uh, besides the point. So with that, I will jump into some of the new features for um, Android 5. I'm just doing a quick overview here to test the screen recording, um, checking the video um, and audio outputs and that kind of thing. So um, some of, I'll probably do more um, individual reviews in the future as I get used to some of the new features, but these are some of the things that are um, built into and part of Android 5. And then also certain things may look different because CyanogenMod does add extra features, but I will generally try to only stick to um, common features for Android 5. So with that, I will start off with the notification drawer. So doing a single swipe down will show you um, the slightly redesigned um, notification drawer, you'll see the time and date at the top left, um, your various uh, indicators at the right. So um, right now I'm in airplane mode, but you also see your um, signal strength, um, whatever uh, data connection you have, whether it's LTE or 3G or whatever, um, any Wi-Fi connection. Um, when you do have a Wi-Fi or a mobile data connection and it's not connected properly, you'll see an exclamation point. And then also your user switcher. So if you want to switch between users or enable add a guest, you can do that as well. And then doing a double swipe, you will have already seen some of the other um, or one of the other redesigns in that. Um, I think the brightness slider you see here is part of Android 5, but it could be a cyanogen mod feature. But in any case, pretty cool if you want a quick adjustment there. Um, touching the Wi-Fi. Um, Icon will enable and disable it. Touching the name will show you a list here of what um, networks you have saved and what's available to you. A uh, similar thing for a Bluetooth, you'll see a list of saved devices and also st um, start a search for adding a new device. Touching where you see no service is the ability to turn your mobile data on and off, seeing how much data you've used over the period noted. And being able to adjust the limit and warning of, um, let's say you want to adjust what the um, limit is, you can do that as well. Um, that's really all there is for that. Some of the other features like enabling and disabling airplane mode, your location settings and things like that are there as well. Um, also, the one of the cool features though, um, as I plug in my device as well, or before I plug in my device, is touching the battery 
um, indicator to show you what how much battery time you have left so you no longer need an um, additional widget or anything like that to show you that it's all part of Android as well um, I'm gonna pl actually plug in my device now because this other feature is something that doesn't always show up right away so I don't know if it's a cyanogen mod thing or um, an Android thing but um, the lock screen will show you um, how much charge or how much time it'll take till you get a full charge so I'll toggle really quick I don't see it um, just yet so I'll check again in a little bit um, I can go into the battery settings as well see if that says it but nothing there either so I'll check the lock screen in a little bit um, the other feature though is the new 3d uh, recent app switcher so you see it's kind of like an arrow um, look and feel where you can switch between your windows and um, so I easily get to let's say for example the Play Store um, no there's no internet connection there so it won't, it won't uh, do anything but if I want to go into my Wi-Fi settings it'll open that so definitely a, a cool uh, switching um, your Chrome windows as well will show up here as well. so let's say you go to a website and you want to get to it again it'll show up as its own window so you can easily open it as well and then as always you have your ability to clear all of them and do a quick search the other redesign is the volume control so uh, doing volume up or volume down will open this nice window uh, touching the bell will enable uh, vibrate mode so if you want to use, quickly do that um, touching again will turn on your um, ring, uh, ringer as well um, priority and none have a similar feature with are they're most like 90 percent the same except for one major difference in that uh, priority will only interrupt you when you have certain notifications enabled um, I'll talk about that in a moment um, but the big differentiator is that when you have none turn on is the new pure silent mode and that you won't even hear your alarms as you see on the screen um, priority mode will let you have your alarms but um, you will still get reminders for example your events calls messages things like that um, you can also set to have priority um, interruptions show turn or enabled by at a certain time so let's say you want your only priority notifications to uh, come through on the weekend I'll say Saturday and Sunday from 9 p.m. to 8 a.m. you can have it automatically do that or even during the work week uh, let's say Monday through uh, Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. or anything like that so it's pretty uh, nifty um, I'm still actually playing around with this feature in that um, I do need my or I do use my um, phone for my alarm so I want to be able to hear my alarm or have my alarm wake me up so I'm not using none just yet but if it changes where um, I can turn off sound I still have my alarms then I will do that so that's really all there is for that so I'll try locking my screen again right now see if I get the notification I want but down here where you see a charging you'll also get an indicator to tell you how much time is left and that way you know that okay well at 70 percent um, it'll take another hour for your device to charge and um, you're good to go from there or at least that way you know like okay and get a general gauge of let's say it takes an hour to charge at 30 percent you can plug your phone in at an hour before you leave work so you know you have a full charge before you leave but uh, that's really all I wanted to cover here um, there's not too much else to really uh, talk about I'm still playing around or be, not too much to talk about just yet because I'm still playing around with all the settings um, poking around at what's new checking um, speed um, you see a lot of the new animations that are going on um, these are some of the features some things or most of these are pretty common um, settings and you can uh, check those out when you get that you can see what apps get notification access um, actually that is one other feature um, but um, essentially when which app notifications you want to receive 
um, have if you want to receive notifications on your lock screen to quickly um, launch those. Um, so, for example, if I'm, I'm on my lock screen and I want to open up the screencast that I have going on right now, then I can double tap on it and it'll um, automatically go to that. If you have your security settings turned on, then um, you can have or it'll still show up so that way you can um, or you're still secure and you can still get your notifications and then one of the cool things there is that um, you can still see, um, decide if you want all of them to show up or if you want um, um, limited uh, app notifications kind of like the active display on the Moto X where you can have Full description is just the app icon or no app notifications, so that way um, the control is in your hands. So that's really all I wanted to cover here. I'll have a, uh, some show notes so you guys can see a quick rundown of what I talked about. And uh, if you, as always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, you can always email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com. You can leave me a voicemail at 714-451 six five seven four and you can always find me on twitter at patel n01 um if you want to check out the android realm or any other show on the geek io network you can visit geek-io.net but that is all for this particular um screencast um i'm planning to do more in the future but we'll see as time goes on and um how well this uh, particular one came out as well and of course you can get in touch with me let me know um, of where you think I can improve if you want to see screencasts of other apps or services or tips or anything like that then let me know contact get in touch with me and I'll see what I can do but in any case that's all for this particular screencast thanks for watching and listening and until next time